I'd really like to welcome everybody today to our Space Cat YouTube channel for our book launch. Um, we're launching today this lovely new shiny copy of our anthology, Severed Souls, which we're really, really excited about. It's our first anthology for a couple of years, actually, uh, with one thing or another. Um, and we're particularly delighted to welcome today one of our Space Cat stars, uh, our author, Ivan Richardson. So, uh, Ivan, lovely to have you with us today. Thank really you, Sean. Yeah. Um, and Ivan has a short story called Following the Lines in our anthology. Now, um, the theme of this anthology was aliens and otherness. And um, when we posted out the submission call, um, we asked people to kind of interpret that quite broadly. So we asked you to reflect on the emotions that alien or otherness evokes in you and right from that place. So what did that theme spark for you, Ivan? Like, like many people, um, I was bullied in school. Um, I'm also someone who is uh, suspected of being neurodiverse. Right. So the feeling of being sort of on the outside of being othered by uh, mainstream society is, is actually was quite familiar. Yeah. So it, it provoked, I think, a lot of those feelings for me of that that feeling of being on the outside. Yeah. Oh, that's really interesting. And you do capture that very powerfully, I think, in your main character in the story. Not to give too much away, but I think that the sort of setup concept that you have is this character who, yeah, has felt kind of on the edge of things her whole life, uh, like she's not really fitting in, like a lot of people feel. Um, and and so she's developed this idea that really she is an alien and has been kind of planted here and eventually her people will come and collect her. Um, and in the story, I think I, I, it's really interesting the way you play with the ambiguity of that and we're not quite sure whether really this is, uh, you know, just a, a, a notion that she's got into her head, um, but she is at the start of the story about to test that theory in a very dramatic way. Yes, uh, so you've really kind of explored a lot about the otherness aspect, but she's also got this idea of aliens from out there that are going to kind of arrive and come and collect her. And I, I, just to kind of broaden it out a little bit, when we were thinking about setting this theme for our second anthology, I was very conscious that the alien is a really powerful figure, not only in science fiction, but perhaps in our wider culture as well. You know, so you can see it in, in TV and film, but in music, in fashion, in, in all kinds of aspects of our lives, the hold that the alien has. And I wondered if you had any thoughts about where that stems from and why it captures our imagination. We, we tend to enjoy fiction because it allows us to explore ourselves and what the alien theme does is it allows us to create a, a frame either a moral frame or a social frame which is then completely outside of what we're used to it allows us to a explore parts of ourselves which are completely away from sort of the mainstream or the normal it allows us to, you know, look at some of our fears, yeah. which come from out there, from, from the unknown. And also where, where we've got fiction, where you're sort of looking at it from perhaps the alien's point of view, or we show the alien's point of view, it allows us to examine ourselves, our own culture, mm. and our own values yeah. from a completely outside perspective yes um which i think a lot of people find very interesting i i like sort of alien stories where you've got a culture or a being who has a completely different value system yes um to our own um where the things we would normally you know we would just assume oh yeah this is how it is yes are, are, are then taken away i i find that very interesting so I like that idea of 
exploring the alien is kind of a journey into the interior as well. It's a sort of journey mm. to inside and, and what's going on in there. But then it's also an attempt, as you say, to stand completely outside of our culture and really shine a light on that and, and scrutinize that as well. Um, yeah, that's that's very interesting. And and I I see that a lot in the range of, of stories and submissions that we had. Something that you touch on there is the the viewpoint issue um, that as soon as you decide to write a story about aliens in some way you have this choice as the writer about where are you going to place the viewpoint the kind of you know the camera view of the story um, is that going to be the viewpoint of the alien or othered figure or is it going to be an observer looking at the alien perhaps human or whatever um, with your story you decided to write about this character who believes she is an alien choosing that viewpoint how did that affect the way you approach the interior voice of the story the language all of that as you said this is uh, someone who believes they are an alien and has not yet made contact mm. um, that sort of limited how much I could sort of show of the aliens and their culture and yes, you know, she's very firmly in her yes head. yeah very much trying to look at her feeling of outsideness the difference she feels between her and everyone else and how that has how that has affected her growing up yeah how that has affected her interactions with other people and so I think that's that's very much where I sort of um, but my sort of point of view was sort of trying to show her struggles to interact mm. with normal society, with other yeah. people, with, with normal no. people, yeah. try and show why she believes yeah. she's an alien, partly because of the way she sees other people and is unable to, to properly interact with other people and they feel like another species to her. This is, yeah, this is really interesting because it's taken us back to what you were saying earlier about the importance of otherness in your story and, and how much your story is rooted in that experience. So she feels like, a, it feels like a very kind of, yes, human and very recognisable um, dilemma that she's facing. It reminds me a little bit of that fantasy that a lot of children have of really, I'm I'm an orphan or I'm adopted. I don't really belong to this family. You know, yes. my, my family is somewhere else. My people are somewhere else. Yeah. And I think that that's going to really resonate with a lot of readers. Um, just um, perhaps a little bit on the, on the form. You've written in the form of a short story and, and we set a limit of, of 3000 words, which I think um, you could certainly have gone well beyond um, with this story. Um, so it's very much leaning into the short story form you know rather than the kind of flash fiction end and I think that allows you to really explore her life doesn't it it allows you to kind of go although we start at this moment where she's teetering on the edge of a, of a incredibly perilous decision about her life that you take us back um the, the, first, the opening scene actually I think was inspired by a dream I had <sighs> Um, and I think a lot of it, I then sort of walked back from there to, so, okay, why is she there? Yeah. What's happened? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I felt I had to give quite a lot of her backstory. You know, I had to tell yeah. her story from a young child up until that point yeah. in order to explain how she got to yeah. that place. And I, and I have had people um, who've read, who have read it tell me like, oh, this should be a a bigger story or this should be the opening yeah to, you know this should then go on to be something else I'm, I'm not I'm not sure I, I actually quite like I actually quite like the ending um, I think that it. depends on whether you're leaning into the alien or the otherness really because I yes. think by exploring the backstory you've really um, given us a, a really kind of full exploration of why she feels so othered <laughs> and why she feels that so intensely that that is intolerable, that she has to make a choice, that she has to do something about this. And yeah, whereas I think if people who've said to you, you know, you could develop this into a longer story to a novella or whatever, that's more about then opening up the world of the strange, of the alien, of, of 
disruptive force that's out there. Um, and, and that's a very different kind of project, I think, from, from what yeah. you said. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, which you know really kind of links back to where we started that the thing that resonated for you with the theme was that that whole thing about how any of us are made to feel other and profoundly uncomfortable in our own skin yeah which is exactly exactly what we hoped people would be exploring with this theme really just to kind of um bring it all back a bit so do you think there is life out there in the universe there, that there are aliens of some sort and does that matter to us I'd, I'd like to believe that there is i think the universe would be incredibly lonely if we're the only ones indeed i think given the size of the universe i think the odds of us being the only ones are tiny especially mm. now we know just how many life supporting planets actually exist in our own galaxy something yes. we've yeah. only recently discovered there's there's a lot more of them than we thought yeah i'm aware of things like the fermi paradox the whole why have we not seen them yet and yes yeah that i i don't know the answer to I, I like to think that there is. I like to think that there are other people out there we can learn from and mm. eventually join with. You know, I, I feel sort of hopeful towards that, you know, that yeah. um, when in our history that would happen, I don't know. Well, that's a that's a really good, positive, outward looking note to end on as well. Yes. So, uh, yeah, that's been really fascinating. And thank you so much for sharing a bit about your process there and, and kind of you know what the inspiration was behind your story um, and yeah looking forward to welcoming people to uh, not only our online launch but also we have a, a proper physical face-to-face -face launch for this um, for this anthology uh, where people can get to hear some of the other stories uh, in the piece as well as Ivan's yeah as well so thank you very much for joining us Ivan this fun. morning uh, yeah, and uh, have a good rest of your week. Thank you.